So around a month ago, I looked at this uh, about 160 scale Barbatos building block set, and it's pretty cool. Has a few issues, mostly uh, connecting the torso to the waist. Uh, not a good idea to do two ball joints for such a heavy upper piece. But it's got posability. They give you stickers to make it look more detailed, and it holds together everything else for the most part, aside from like mostly the head. But then, like two days after I posted the video, I found this. We got double O uh, building set. And, well, that actually has a going to do. Like, the main one for IBO is Barbatos, and the main one for double O is Axio. Makes sense. It's kind of slouching over. Um, just because, you know, the G and drive is pointy. They did a good job on this, like, giving all the detail. And. I mentioned the Barbatos has stickers showing all the little extra stuff. These are all tampo printed on, so no stickers in the entire set. Even the face, you got the uh, tampo printing on that one piece. But they give you the clear parts where you need them. Uh, not the arms though. That's a little disappointing, but they did give it in the legs, and the chest, and the head, and that GN drive back there. Unfortunately, uh, the this set has a problem where the other one, the Barbatos, it was like I said, the stomach and the head. This thing, multiple issues holding together. And it's also the head. They can't seem to do the heads right and keep them in one solid piece because like the side of the part of the heads are, I think, connected by like one stud. They have a bad habit of only using a few studs to connect pieces. Same thing with the front of the uh, shoulder armor and even the top piece of the shoulder armor. Just a few studs like holding it together. And then also the worst part is the uh, the back, like where the GN drive is, and connecting to the front. Initially, I think it was two studs, and I modified it a little bit to make it more solid. It's not going to come apart, or at least it shouldn't. And then the other problem is a lot of the joints, like the waist here, are really loose. Like if, and so this is the problem of not being an official set like Lego or Mega Blocks. You got like loose pieces, but yeah, the joints are pretty bad. The waist is bad. Um, the elbows are a little bad here and there. This part here is loose. Um, the upper arm here, one of these come out easily. Yeah, the lower one here comes off easily. Uh, the legs, they don't come off easily, but they're very loose, like rotation, you can see that. And um, I think that's pretty much it. You think that doesn't sound like a lot, but especially because it's kind of back heavy, because there's a lot of like parts here, these loose joints are definitely gonna be a hindrance. But like I said, the articulation is there. And if you're going to do something like, the head's ball joint, so hold the side of the head if you want to try to rotate it. And try and rotate the arms. They're very tight, but hold it from here, and probably even like this. Like, try and keep this whole thing together without exploding. The elbows and stuff, while they're loose, it's not horrible, because they won't come apart, they'll just unpeg. And I like the fact that they give you the fingers, like the Robatos. The thing is that the Robatos had like claws, which makes sense. These are just like, stubs. It does make more sense. And they actually give you a little piece uh, showing, a little piece of paper showing a modified uh, skirt, because the bar that connects the skirt armor together, they give you different ones. Apparently they were light brown ones and they didn't work properly. These ones are definitely a lot uh, stiffer, but I wish they modified some of these other parts because they're not that good. But I love the fact that they made these beam sabers. They don't do anything, they're just for show, but they made them there. Like they, they actually look like beam saber handles, so I think that's a nice little touch. And there are some ratchets, which is not where, like, some of the parts are too loose, but the ratchets are pretty stiff. And the feet are also, they, they can move, but uh, they can tilt and rotate, but they can't go forward and back, which, you know what? You don't want to do it because you're not going to get this thing to stand. Um, you can have it, if you work at it, you can have it stand up. Oh, look, see, the back piece came off. You can have it stand up. Um, if you like, have them straight as a board, it should stand up. Thankfully, they thought of that, and they include a stand that you put together. You just shove it in the crotch, and it's pretty much the exact same height as the mobile suit, so it'll be standing straight using the stand, and it won't fall over. It's necessary. They knew it. They knew what they did wrong, and they tried their best to kindly say, Look, we're sorry. This thing has issues. But at least you're going to be able to have them posed, or like standing straight. So you can have them on a shelf. Just uh, don't let any particles land on it. But the cool thing is, while the Barbatos got this uh, stick, that's a sword, 
this this company which actually i want to show the picture for the boss because it's actually like about the size of a perfect grade box in, in terms of like the front part but once you turn it sideways you can see that it's like a third of the thickness but it is kind of cool to have it with, it has like a carry handle and everything it's kind of cool it's more it's much better than barbatos's plastic bag but what i was going with is you actually get weapons that look like like they're very complicated they're very complex you got the shield here and they try to do their best representation of the celestial bean logo you know without being the celestial bean logo you can kind of see the wings and the ring it you know from a distance it's celestial bean sure why not more temple printing here these parts here they try to make it so you pick them on the on the end so it kind of looks like the shape of the shield but they don't they'll, they'll ever like most of the things on this it'll come off a little easily and in order to do this, I guess this is why they didn't include any clear parts for the arms, because you have to actually take the side panel off in order to connect the weapons. Not a fan of that. I'm pretty sure they could have like had it pegged on top here, where this little like piece is, this little dark piece. But they also give you the Gian Sword, which it looks actually really good. Um, I was missing a piece in here that it should raise the uh, barrel part of the, the gun part of the Gian Sword up a little bit more, but whatever. What are you going to do? And uh, look, working blade or paddle, whatever you want to call it, but it's definitely like supposed to be the sword. And it works. It doesn't actually flop. Like it's a tight connection. It's not going to like droop or anything in either position. So that's kind of cool. So that's good. And of course, you got to pop off that piece. And you can just have it. It's not going to hold it, but you can just make it look like it because you're, you know, the work that's being done is, oops, is pegging it onto the arm not actually having it hold it but it'll do the best it can and because the weight of the arm um this arm was weaker with like um it comes out easier so it it falls out with with gravity so i switch it over here because i rather have the jean sword it'll be able to kind of be straight without sliding off the arm this one's gonna have to be bent in order to keep it from uh falling off all the time which is a little disappointing now, while I'm not a huge fan of how this thing goes together, I'm going to get the second one. There is a Curios, and it's, um, it, it, the fact, here, let me bring this in, because this all, in my mind, makes sense, okay? We have the only 160 no grade was Exia, okay? Now, it's not... I can't quite pull it any farther, but let me uh, put feet to feet. Okay, so yeah, he is a little taller than Exia. Like, um, if I get him like foot level to foot level, it's about a little over a full head taller than this building block set. But it's pretty close to 160 scale. Um, because if I bring in this Barbatos Lego set, or I just say building block set, Barbatos foot to foot is also a little bit taller than Exia, which I think might be right because the Gundam frames have pretty big cloppers. But I, the fact that I could get something that's close to 160 scale in Kyrios, I'm going to do it because I actually have some coupons that I got because this, this is from Temu. This is what they seem to have. I don't know if they have anywhere else, but it's it's located in, in Canada so I can get it and it, it ships pretty quickly. And I got some coupons and I'm going to use them to where it'll be about half the price of this is about, um, I think I paid about 50 bucks. So it'll be like 25 once I uh, add a couple other things to the, the cart that I wanted. And I'll have that and then I'll show it off because I really want to have something that's 160 scale or at least approximately. If they do Dynamis and I'm not expecting Virtue, but I would take a Nautile because it's much, it'd be much more like this because I would be probably like over a hundred dollars because it's a bulky, it's a bulky, uh, mobile suit so it have to be a bulky uh, building block set I like it just as a standing piece but it's got a lot of issues more than this one so it, you know you it looks nice for a building block set I think it's kind of cool but it's got it's got the problems <laughs>